Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a relatively new fraudster on the scene. I've seen a few of his videos, but I haven't really covered them yet, called We the Bosses. And as such, we find ourselves in Des Plaines, Illinois, with this sorry SOB as he attempts to, uh, well, audit a DMV and ends up getting himself trespassed because... He doesn't know anything about what he's talking about. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. One of these addresses in the back. Yeah, one yeah. is on the left. Not at this one. Sorry, we're too small. Okay. Okay, thank you. So can I, can I speak to your supervisor? I want to speak to your... Okay, before we continue on, he pretty much started the video at this point, so we, we don't know what happened beforehand where he decided he wanted to see a supervisor, so yeah, that's kind of on the frauditor at this point, so no information right here. Yeah, would, sir, I, give me one second. So I would like to speak to you. Yeah, is there a chance I can have you step outside for just two seconds? Oh, yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. So what is the closest one? Which uh, Chicago North. It would be on the middle one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to change my address. Anyway. Uh, it is appointment only for everything. You just go to this phone number or the website the same morning and they help you out. Okay. Thank you, sir. I apologize, but there's no recording in the building. It's illegal to record in a state building. I just want to ask which one is. Oh. Um. Here. Uh, yeah. Give me one second, sir. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to step outside, the supervisor. No, I, I think it's legal to record in here. No, it's not, sir. I'll, I'll, even on the door. I'll wait for your supervisor. Okay. It's it's it has, it has to be backed by a law. Um. Yeah. Uh, you might want to consult with your actual lawyer on that because Illinois does have a wiretapping law and it is a two-party consent state. So, yeah, other frauditors have gotten themselves in some deep doo-doo because of that. So, yeah, you might want to rethink your strategy at this point. You just can, you just can put up a sign that says, I can't record. Okay. All right. I can new a book of Sure. It has to be a, a state statute behind it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are a good one. You are a good one. You are a good lady. Thank you. Congratulations. That phone needs to go off. No recording in the building. Off and out. Tim. Tim. Juan. Jojo. Can I, can I get your name? Outside the building. Can I get your name? Give me one second. Are you the supervisor? So you want to go to jail? Do I want to go to jail? Yeah. For recording in a public yeah. building? I'm calling the police. He won't stop recording. Okay. Maybe the police can explain it. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Uh, Are you together or no? Oh, no. Can you can you explain to me why that is? Well, gee, dumbass, maybe it has something to do with the fact that this is a DMV where people's confidential information can be picked up by recording devices. Did that ever cross your tiny little brain? No, of course not. It would never have crossed your brain because you, well, simply don't have one to begin with. I have a gentleman who won't stop recording me. Wow. You know what I'm saying, sir? When you put up a sign, it has to be backed. It has to be backed by law. It has. To, it has to be backed by law. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for the. I'll wait here. I'll wait here. I'll wait here. So these two uh, are going to go round and round and round and uh, with this idiot's circular reasoning for the next few minutes until the uh, cops arrive. So let's just go ahead and skip to that point, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. So, sir, did you say it was illegal to record in here? Did you say it was illegal to record in here? Yes. Why is that? Can you explain that? 
No, I just needed to explain why it's illegal to record in public. This is the government building. Okay, yes, I do understand, which makes it public, right? Oh boy, that's some real faulty reasoning right there, dumbass. Considering that, well, the Pentagon is a government building, but uh, can you just waltz right in there and do whatever the hell you want to do? No, you'll be arrested if you even attempt to do what you're doing here. In fact, why don't you go over there to the Pentagon and try it over there? I guarantee you, you won't like the results. That makes it a public building. And members of the public, especially if you're trying to gather, gather content for a story or you're documenting matters of public interest, you should be able to be in here and, 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 and do what you need to do. Oh, so you're saying that uh, being a member of the press grants you special privileges, does it now? Uh, no. I think Chile de Castro tried to argue that point with a judge here recently. And, uh, well, he was put in his place on that. Good afternoon. Hey, how are we doing? Good. What's your name and your badge number? Officer Connolly. Nice to meet floor. you. And are you the only one here? I am. Okay. So I'm not sure why they called you. Okay. Yeah. Full of science is uh, no photography or any type of this. Yes, I, I do understand that, but this is just a sign. Mm -hmm. So this sign has to be backed by a statute. It has to be mm -hmm. backed, backed by law. Okay. Because members of the public have the right to live in public buildings and record. It's been established. In, in, in court. Okay, uh, before you start uh, spouting off your bullshit, you're going to need to provide citations for what you're saying because otherwise you're just spewing uh, garbage out of that gutter hole of yours that you call a mouth. So you might as well provide that citation so that way we can actually verify what you're saying. You're talking about your First Amendment. Yes, exactly. It's my First Amendment to do what I'm doing. So, but whatever reason you think, because 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 the Secretary of State put up a sign here, that bars the members of the public from recording. But he doesn't have the authority to do that. Yeah. So, if you can explain to them that I have the right to be in here and record, I mean, I'm not. Do you want him um, trespass from the building? Do you want him trespass from the building? Yes. That's not okay. him. Okay. He's not allowed so to be inside the They are allowed building. to trespass you from the building. From a public building? Yes. Okay, do you understand that they can't do that unless I commit a crime? <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> and here we go. You've just proven that you are just as uneducated as any other frauder out there. Congratulations. Welcome to the frauding community where everybody is a total dumbass. Because if you actually take the time to look up trespassing laws, nowhere, and I repeat, nowhere does it ever say that you have to be committing a crime to be trespassed. Where did you frauditors ever come up with this myth? And why do you think everybody outside of your uh, gullible community will fall for this, especially the police? You can't you can trespass okay. members of the public from a public space unless they've, unless However, they've broken the law. I'm not trying to teach you anything. You're saying that you're causing a disturbance. What, what disturbance am I causing? Just just simply being in here recording is not causing a disturbance. Yes, it is. All right? It's like universal information of our people. Yes, it is. All right? It's like universal information of our people. Yes, it is. All right? It's like universal information of our people. Ah, uh, yes. Personal information. That won't fit into your uh, pathetic little narrative, will it? I mean, I'm sure you're not the kind of person that would record somebody's personal information and post it on the internet, are you? You're not an identity thief or an accomplice identity theft, are you? Um. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you something really quickly. That, that might help you. This is this is why we do what we do to change things like this. Okay, so All right. You're interrupting the full regular. I, I wasn't. I, I'm not inter interrupting anything. Sorry. All right. I'm not. I'm not in anybody's way. I, I'm not. I'm not preventing anybody from carrying out their business here today. Do you, um, have... you need to take me off of that film. You hear me? So, uh, him, him reacting to me is not me creating a disturbance. That's him creating a disturbance. Him reacting to me, I never engaged him. So he reacted to me. 
That doesn't. This is a floor. Okay. This is a okay. okay. I'm not in the way. Okay. Can you take him outside, please? Okay. He, he'll he'll be violating my rights, and and There's and no that'll be a, that'll be a lawsuit. Guys, All right. let's do a do me a favor. Nice. Everybody that's not here, go in that door. Okay. You can do whatever you want. Right Thank now. you. Appreciate it. I'll I'll come talk to you. This gentleman wants an audience. We don't want to provide that for him. So please go into that door. Not my partner comes out. Okay. Do you want me to read this to you? you don't, it doesn't matter? You too, sir. Okay. Well, the officer certainly doesn't want to hear your BS, but let's take a look at what that paper said. And here it is. Yeah, it's a quote mine from a case from the 1960s. But for better context, here it is right here. It's about the case of a couple bank robbers having been identified by the FBI through photography. So how does this help your calls in any manner whatsoever, dude? I mean, I think that's, well, nowhere near what you're uh, trying to do right here. I mean, come on now, dude. Try a bit harder than that. Many, many minutes later. Activist. Okay. I want him out of the building. I wouldn't. Away his audience. I wouldn't they describe. For everybody's in the imaginary force. Um, they want to trespass in public building. May I, may I have your name and your badge number, sir? Yep. No? What's going on, sir? Hey, how's it going? Good, may, how are you? may I have your name and your badge number? Yeah, George is 559. Nice to meet you. What about you, sir? I appreciate, I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't. I'm great. I'm great. I'm just here to document matters of public interest, and they told me that I couldn't be here and record. There were multiple people that were upset that he was recording them while they were doing transactions. Of you know everything is caught was have been recorded, so I would advise you to make sure what you're saying is, is accurate. The guy that you said, please don't record me when I'm doing this. Yeah, but he's in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. You can ask me to stop the recording him in public. Sure, they right. post a sign you're asking the photographer. And, and I was about. explaining to him that there is a sign here, but this sign needs to be backed up by a statute. You can just put up a sign to tell me not to do what I have the right to do. I have a First Amendment right to be here and document my activity here today. So if if, if you stop me from knowing that, you're violating my, my, my First Amendment right. Okay. Right. So yeah, yes, there is a sign. Anybody can put up a sign here. I can I can put up a sign here that says no red shirts. And there he goes down the false equivalency uh, road right there. I mean, uh, at least he didn't go the racist route uh, in this particular uh, argument. But it's not yet over, so let's carry on and see if he actually does go down that road. Are you going to abide by that? Well, it's not backed up by law, right? Sure. Every, every sign has to be backed up by law. It has to be a statute on it. You just can't put up a sign. I don't care that the Secretary of State put it up himself. It's as good as the paper it's, it's, it's on. It has to be backed up by law. So this is just to prevent me from doing what I'm doing here right now. And this is part of why we do what we do, to break down these barriers, sure. to, to give the public access to the government. Here's the thing, right? right? When you start arguing with people, I am not. When you start getting into territory listen, where listen. it's like, now it's disturbing the tea listen, type of things. I, 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 no, I, okay. you, listen, I'll let you speak. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that is, I think, probably why we ended up here. Okay. So that's where we're at. Okay, you know, it, everything was recorded. Yeah, that's, I that's can funny. play. I can play it back for you later. I walked in here. I never disturbed anyone. The lady came out. The first thing she said was, "Turn that off and get out of here." They didn't even ask me why I was in and 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 what I was doing. Right. So if there was any confrontation, it wasn't on my part. All I was doing was standing here and recording. And they told me that I couldn't do what I have a right to do. So Are you I. Inside of here. I was standing right there. I was standing right here, just past the door. Mm -hmm. And then when he told me that he was calling the police, I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna wait for you guys. I don't want to disrupt business." You know, I'm going to stand here peacefully and wait for you. I could have walked in there as I, ha as I have the right to do, but I'm not here to disrupt business. So I stood here and waited for you guys. Okay, cool. So, right. Um, who were you talking to inside? Uh, it was the lady. Uh, I think she's, I, I, she's, I, I, she's I, one of the supervisors. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that lady there. Okay. Yeah. She was the one that told me to get out. Okay. Right. Give us one second. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, he goes on for another 20 minutes with these officers round and round and round with a lot of circular reasoning that uh, really doesn't benefit him whatsoever. And I know you guys don't have the time to sit around another 20 minutes waiting for this guy to be trespassed. So let's skip to that part, shall we? Many unbearable hours later. Like, Secretary of State, I just spoke with him. Yeah. Secretary of State. Sergeant advised me that there's secular, or sensitive documents being passed around, including social security numbers, okay. driver's license numbers, 
things that people don't want shared in the public, okay. which is why they have those signs. And okay. they do. The Secretary well, I'm just in route. I, yeah. Let okay. me talk first yeah. okay. before you bring up your speech. Okay. okay. Yeah. They're in route. They said that they do have a statute that that falls okay. under. And if you're not okay. going to okay. buy it. No, I need to see it. Remember what I said when I first walked in here? Show me the statute. If there's a statute behind it, I don't break the law. If that's a law, I will leave. I don't break right the law. Right now, the law they're suggesting you broke is disorderly kind of, which okay. I advised you when I first came here okay. that you were disrupting the orderly business it, of this establishment. Everything is recorded. That's fine. This yeah. is a this this is a this is a, a, a U.S. appeals court ruling. Simons versus United States, three ninety U.S. Third, 377, 1968. Wait, the claim and exercise of a cons constitutional right cannot be converted into a crime. Mm. A denial of them would be a denial of due process law. Yeah, you're not being arrested right? for recording. Okay. That's what you're missing. Right, you're but being, you're, you're being investigated for disorderly conduct. Okay, so that's uh, a criminal law. That's okay. not constitutional. Okay. Law. Oh, you hear that, Frauditor? It's not constitutional law you're dealing with right here because it's disorderly conduct which falls under criminal law. So, yeah, uh, all this BS that you've been spouting off all this time really doesn't amount to anything. So just like any other frauditor out there, you tend to get everything confused. You might want to go consult an actual lawyer instead of these YouTube frauds that you see all the time. Yeah, that might be beneficial to you. Stay away from uh, these... Uh, First Amendment auditors who really actually know nothing about the law to begin with. I what you're claiming is constitutional with the video camera. Okay, so right, be it. Right. We'll let Secretary of State handle that. Part. Okay. What we're telling you is we're here for the criminal part, which is the disorderly conduct. Okay. The gentleman out here has said multiple times he's came up here and told you to stop recording him. Okay. All right. And every time you swing the camera, he's feeling that he's violated. <laughs> So, so you understand? I mean, I know it's funny for you. No, no, no. The reason it's funny is he has no expectation of privacy in public. He's in public. If I was at his house or his property, it's different. He's in public. No one has expectation of privacy in public. He's though. here where he's presenting sensitive documents that he doesn't want on camera, and which is why the Secretary of State has these signs saying, please no recording. Okay, and do you also know that just capturing sensitive information on camera is not a crime? Oh boy, are you a complete and total moron, dude. There is a statute for that, and it is called the uh, Illinois Wiretapping Law, and besides, uh, Illinois is a two-party consent state, so you might want to check your facts on that. You might want to reconsider everything you're doing here, otherwise, for your outright ignorance and stupidity in this matter, dude. So ch check yourself. What is a crime is what you do with that information. Just simply capturing it on camera is not a crime whatsoever. So, but now you, you be right? in possession of information. On that is still not a crime. It's if I if I use that information and do something illegal, then it becomes a crime. But simply capturing stuff. What? Look around. There's a bunch of cameras here. There's a bunch of cameras here, right? The, These are under the control of the Secretary of State, the State of which I can fire it. I can I can get that those footage. Any, any member of the public can. Any any sensitive information would be redacted. Okay. And there you go, Frauditor. Another flaw in your reasoning right here. The information from those cameras can be redacted, so you can't spread that information on the internet. You get that, you dumbass buffoon? Right, but until... And first of all, you, no one here has a proof that I've recorded anyone's information. And like I said, even if I have, even if I inadvertently captured anything on camera, that's not a crime in itself. Okay. What's so, a crime is what I, if I use that information... What we're doing now, is now we're, you're sidetracking us. I'm looking for your identification. Okay, well, I don't have my ID okay, on me. Well then, my partner's going to grab your name, your birthday, your address, and your phone number. <laughs> And if you refuse, then okay, you, I know right. that was going to be your next question, okay, right? Yes, yes. If you next, refuse to present these documents. You will now be obstructing investigation. Okay. So again, now I go back and ask you, what is your end goal here? My end goal is when I first walked in here, right? Like I said, the first thing she said was, "Shut the camera off and get out." So my goal here is to educate. Is to educate public employees that the members of the public have the right to be in public and document the activities of their public employees, right? Uh, um, Turner versus driver. 
is a is a is a U.S. Circuit Court or, or U.S. Appeals Court ruling that says that members of the public have the right to recall public officials in the course of their duties. Uh, no, dumbass. Uh, that's recording the police under appropriate time, place, and manner restrictions. Well, can't you get anything right? Okay. Right, and that's what I'm doing here. But you're also recording people, right. citizens people who in, have an expectation of privacy. People in public. That's what you don't understand. People in public. Where they're passing. So it, it, it's no different from me being outside recording. It's no different. You know, it's the only thing that restricts my right to do what I'm doing is time, place, and manner. Those are the only three things that restrict my right to record anywhere in the public. If there was a sign that says this is restricted, do not enter. And if I do that, then that's a crime. But just being in a place that I'm allowed to be in and recording cannot be construed Sir, as a, into a just crime. Just so you know, I have to tell you from Sergeant Flores, the yeah. Secretary of State Police, badge number 0995. Okay. You've been formally trespassed, Mr. Sanders. Formally? Okay. Sergeant Flores, Secretary of State Police, star number 0995. Okay. I, I'm not going to stay here if you tell me I'm trespassed, but I need I need the formal trespass and I'm going to leave. And that comes in the form of a citation. In the form of a citation? Yes. No. The way the trespass law works is you have to tell someone to leave. Okay. I just, well, Sergeant Flores just told okay. me. Okay. Uh, then I'll leave. Okay. I will leave. All right. Then my, you can deal with my lawyer later. That's fine. Right. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Have a good day. All right. You too. Well, he goes uh, around and around with the cops outside for the next 15 minutes or so. But the uh, point is, he's been trespassed. And, uh, well, they weren't going to reverse the trespass anyway, considering that it would be the people the, who run that building that would have to reverse that trespass. And, uh, well, they're not going to do it. So go whine and cry to your lawyer all you want, because, well, dude... Uh, from what I've seen on this video, you are a freaking incompetent moron. You got everything wrong. Case laws, quote mines, the whole shebang. You, sir, are a complete and total dipshit dumbass. So, congratulations. There's no trophy involved, but you can live the rest of your life knowing that uh, you're at the bottom rank of society as far as intelligence goes. So at any rate, guys. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?